Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of True Tea. I hope you guys are doing well. So I'm back with a review for Love and Marriage Huntsville, The Reunion Part 1. Um, I'm just going to get right into it. The show starts off with everybody getting ready to go into their dressing rooms um, to get ready for the reunion. And um, this is the time when Carlos takes a moment to let everybody know that he's going to be the host for the reunion Cause, because apparently they didn't know. All they knew was that they were going to have a new host. They didn't know that it was going to be Carlos King. So um, he let them know that. And, you know, they were joking around about it or whatever, a little nervous. But it is what it is. Um, everybody got dressed. They look nice. Um, they hit the stage and the reunion began. And they started off with Maurice and Kimmy. And we finally got some answers, you know, um, to the questions that, um, you know, the questions that we've had throughout the season. And one of those questions uh, were, uh, Maurice, why didn't you ever take up for Kimmy when everybody was calling her a side chick? You know, I was one of those who submitted that question because I remember when the um, they were getting ready to film for the reunion and Carlos uh, King sent out a tweet asking the viewers, you know, what questions do they have that they want the host to ask at the reunion? And so I was one of those who submitted the question, Maurice, why don't you ever speak up for Kimmy when everybody is calling her a side chick? Because that is a rumor that he could have easily shut down, but he refused to. So that only left people to speculate, okay, were you messing around with Kiowa? And that was one of the questions that Carlos King asked him. Were you messing around with Kiowa um, after you got after you filed for divorce, were you messing around with her while you were with Kimmy? And according to Maurice, no, he was not. He's saying that um, him and Kiowa had not been together for an entire year before he met Kimmy. So no way could Kimmy have been a side chick. And he also said that he could pull up receipts as to when he got a U-Haul to move out of the uh, state. So um, that's that. And when it comes to why he didn't address the rumors of Kimmy being a side chick, according to him, pretty much he's pretty much saying, you know, if it isn't true, why should he address it? Because it bothers your wife and you knew that. So if you didn't do it for anybody, you could have done it for her, you know, but he finally did it and said that, you know, no, she wasn't a side chick. So hopefully this puts an end to it because at the end of the day, they're both remarried. It doesn't make sense for it to keep resurfacing. And Kimmy had a chance to get, you know, a little something off her chest as well. And she addressed the cast and she told them, you know, they were supposed to be her tighter, tighter circle of friends. And she did not appreciate them, you know, making jokes about her being a side chick because it wasn't funny. It speaks about your character and it was not true. Therefore it was not, you know, it, there was nothing funny about it. And so she got that off of her chest and hopefully they can move on to something else next season because we do not want to hear about this next season. Okay. So getting off of that and moving on to Tisha and Marceau. Um, there wasn't a lot said about Tisha and Marceau's situation. This part, um, maybe they're going to get into that next part. Um, however, Marceau did come up and pretty much Martel lying trifling ass was trying to accuse Marceau and Melody of messing around with each other. What it is, is that, um, you know, first of all, Martel is a pathological liar. He's a, he has proven himself to be a liar. Um, he has proven himself to be a bitch because his marriage has gone downhill and he wants everybody else's marriage to go downhill. That's exactly why, um, every chance he gets, he tries to, um, he tries to, um, say things about Maurice and Marceau, meaning like that Instagram post that he put up when he said that all of them were single, knowing damn well they're married. That was just his way of saying that they're married on film, but behind closed doors, they're just as big of a whore as he is. That was his way of saying that. And last night at the reunion, after the reunion, he put up a post saying that all of, all of us are liars. We all are liars. You know, it was just some bitch ass shit, you know. Even if Marceau and Maurice did cheat on their wives, and I'm not condoning it, I don't respect it, I don't condone it, it's different ways to handle things when something is not going your, going well in your marriage. However, if they did cheat on their wives, at least they were smart enough not to get caught, dumbass. At least they had enough respect for their wives not to let their side chicks do what the fuck you let Ariane do to Melody. Okay. So stop with the bitch assness. Even if they did cheat on their wives, you, you just fucking mad that your stupid ass got caught. 
You didn't even have enough respect to protect your wife from anything, from anything. Especially that whore that you went and had a baby with outside of your marriage. You know what I'm saying? So it's just the bitch assness of it all. He didn't have no proof, but you're going to throw something out there um, like that, that Melody is messing around with, uh, was messing around with Marceau. He wants to try his best to ruin somebody because he has been ruined. He wants everybody to look at Melody in a different light because he's tired of being looked at, at a, in a negative light, even though he's a negative motherfucking person. And he had no respect for Tisha because if you didn't have no evidence, if you didn't have anything of the sort, why would you even throw something out there in front of her like that? Just no respect. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say somebody's mother fucking husband is cheating on them in front of your face when I don't got no motherfucking proof, you know, unless I seriously want to damage their relationship. And that's what Martel wants to do. You know, he's in a motherfucking hole and he wants everybody else to be down there miserable with his ugly ass. And I'm fucking sick of it. It don't matter how big his muscles are. It don't matter how nice his suit look. When you as fucked up as you are on the inside, you look just as fucked up on the outside, at least in my eyes. And that's exactly why him and Ariane click. You know, they care about what they look like on the outside and don't give a fuck about how fucked up they are on the inside. And that's exactly why they fucking fell into each other's arms and into in, to each other's bed. They are one in the same. One in the same. It's just so fucking disgusting. And y'all, both of them, after the after the fucking reunion, both of them went live. And Ariane was legit mad at Melody because Melody did not want to film with her. You know what I'm saying? She said that Melody didn't want to film with her because she was intimidated. And she was mad that her husband was interested in somebody else and she wasn't the belle of the ball. Bitch, you sound stupid. You sound immature. You sound dumb as fuck. Melody wasn't the belle of the ball, though. She was the belle of the wedding because he married her, something he would never do for you, bitch. You would never be nobody's wife. That's exactly why you would spend your time forever calling other people's husbands because you would never have one of your own because real men don't want trash, bitch. They don't want trash. The nerve of you. The fuck? Who do you expect to film with your motherfucking ass when you done fucked on their husband for five years and then had a baby bound and then called their phone? Telling them to put their husband on the phone, bitch. You done lost your motherfucking mind. You done lost your mind. And them friends that you have in these lives, they are sitting there watching you make an ass out of yourself. And they just want to be seen. They just want exposure. They don't give a fuck about you. Because if they give a fuck about you, they wouldn't even condone the shit that you're doing and speaking on your behalf. You know what I'm saying? You need real people in your circle. Real people like a priest and a motherfucking therapist, bitch. Because you are fucked up on the inside. And you don't even fucking realize it. Trying to make it seem as if you have some kind of growth. No, what it is is that... You saw everybody talking about your ass on YouTube and on the blogs and you know that you look a mess and now you want to put on what a pound of makeup and a tight dress and oh and say, oh, I, I, I've grown. No, you haven't, bitch. No, you haven't. Just a couple of weeks ago, you was talking about um, being proud of a married man chasing you. You ain't you. Ain't, there's no growth. There's no growth. And just to think that Martel destroyed his entire marriage for this dolphin mouth ass bitch. A bitch that feeds her baby Doritos at one o'clock in the motherfucking morning. If I'm lying, I'm flying. Y'all, she did a live. And I know I'm getting off the reunion, but I just have to say this. She did a live um, earlier in the week. No, was it last week? And the uh, she went out to have drinks with her friend. And somebody was watching the baby while she went to have drinks or whatever. She went to get the baby because she they had just got back to her house. When they got back to her house after having drinks, the friend went in the kitchen to fix them something to eat. So she was getting the baby settled in. And the baby wasn't ready to go back to sleep yet. And so while her friend is in the kitchen cooking, she tells her friend, I think he wants another Dorito. Bitch, he shouldn't have had the first one. He's not even one years old yet. And you feeding this baby fucking Doritos? And this is what Martel left his wife for. This is what Martel left his fucking wife for. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm just so... I just don't know. I, I, I don't... It's just ridiculous. And you think that there's some kind of growth there? You are the same person you've been. You are the same person who uh, got on the phone to tell this woman to put her husband on the phone so he could speak to you. (sighs) I'm so upset that Melody didn't have any sisters to beat your ass. I'm so upset. 
I wish she had somebody because you wouldn't have gotten away with that. You wouldn't have gotten away with that. I just, I don't even know what to say at this point. So I'm going to get back on the reunion to, I'm going to get back on to the reunion. Carlos King asked them, Melody and Martel, if they had any regrets. Because you know when the show started, they were together. They marriage didn't work out because Martel was the bitch-ass nigga that he was. A complete asshole, listic-ass narcissist. And that's why the marriage failed. And he would never accept that. He would never take ownership of that. The failure of his marriage is everybody else's fault. It's everybody else's fault, including the shows, because according to him, his marriage would still be together if it wasn't for the show. Carlos King asked him and Melody both, do they have any regrets about doing the show? And Melody said, no, you know, things, good things have came out of it. And I'm with Melody. Melody has been glowing. She has been flourishing. She has been prospering ever since she left that fool, ever since she left him. And he mad. That's why he mad. And he expected Melody to stay and put up with his shit. Just like he said last night at the reunion. He expected them to be together forever. Even though he was disrespectful as fuck. The entire marriage. Even though he was cheating on her for all those years. Even though he went and had a baby outside of the marriage. He still. (coughs) Excuse me. He still expected her to stay with him. If that's not a sick person. I don't know who is. I don't know what is. He is sick. And he needs help. He looks stupid. He sounds stupid. And I'm just, I'm disgusted. Completely, 100% disgusted. And so, of course, when it comes to Martel, um, he has regrets about doing the show. Because like I just said, he said that they would still be together had it not been for the show. And Melody shut that shit down. She said they would absolutely not be together show or no show because just the type of guy that he is he's a liar he's a manipulator he is a cheater and that's just the beginning of it he's a list of things you know what i'm saying so why would you think that y'all would be together i think that comes from melody stand for as long as she did even though he was doing what she was what he was doing and she says that he she she did that you know she wanted to give him time to get himself together because she realized that he wasn't perfect and of course she wanted her marriage to work she had kids by this man four kids but him thinking that she wasn't going to leave he continued to do what what he did And I like Carlos, okay, don't get me wrong, but he had me fucked up when he implied that Martel possibly loved Ariane. Let me tell you what he did, and y'all saw what he did. Why would he feel like, this is what he said. He said, Carlos King said, that he felt like uh, Martel only called Ariana peasant because... He didn't want to admit that he loved her and that people call her cold slaw and side chick, but she appears to be a whole restaurant because it's something that keeps drawing my tail back to her. Let me tell you something. A man will fuck anything, including animals. They out here fucking pit bulls and horses. Why wouldn't he fuck on Ariane? She was a free piece of wet ass. Nothing more, nothing less. Nothing more, nothing less. Her legs and her mouth stayed open for him 24 hours a day, just like a drive through Burger King. Whenever he wanted it, he could have it his way. That's what kept drawing his ass back. He didn't love that goddamn girl. Because if he loved that girl, he would be with her. There's absolutely nothing standing in his way. Nothing. Him and Melody are 100% divorced. Nothing is standing in his way. If he loved her, if I love somebody, I'm going to do my best to be with him. What's his excuse? He don't want that girl. He on national TV in front of millions of viewers saying, talking about being with the next bitch. He don't want her. And she feels salty because he making every, she making it on live, making every excuse as to why they not together. Bitch, y'all not together because he don't want you. He ain't never want your ass. You was just something for him to do behind closed doors. And when he got done, he went home to his wife. You know, the bitch that he wants to, the, the woman that he wants to be with, the woman that he continues to try to be with. Yeah, that one. And then she did a live, y'all. Um, she had the nerve to do a live right after the reunion, saying that 
you know, like I said, and I hope I am not repeating myself, but, um, she said, because I had to record this video so many times because I was just so pissed. I had to calm down. So forgive me if I'm repeating myself, but this bitch did a live after the reunion last night. And she said she was legit mad that Melody wouldn't film with her. And she said that Melody wouldn't film with her because she was intimidated. And she was mad that her husband was interested in somebody else. And she was mad because she found out she wasn't the bell of the ball. Bitch, you sound stupid. You sound immature. And you know what? But you got a point though. Mel wasn't the bell of the ball she was the bell of the motherfucking wedding because he married her ass he married her that was his wife something you will never be you will never be anybody's wife because a real man don't want fucking trash they fuck on you for the little bit that they do and then they go home to their wives you know what I'm saying? So the fact that she thinks she that bitch because Martell was fucking around with her for five years, it don't make her no better than Melody. But she too stupid to realize that. He didn't fuck with her because she was better than Melody. <laughs> to actually, you're beneath Melody. And you know it, and that's why you mad. You mad because you will never be Melody. You mad because <sighs> you mad for so many reasons. For so many reasons. And this girl, this is what those rants was for. She went on like a, a tour of rants for like the past the couple of weeks leading up to the reunion. She went on a tour fest or whatever you call it because she was hoping to get on a reunion. And now that she sees that she's not, she wasn't on a reunion, she saw that it aired without her, she's pissed. So now what does she do? She want to use that baby to try to get back at Melody because she's mad because Melody don't want to film with her on, on, on a show or on a reunion. You was just saying that you didn't want your baby to be seen. But now all of a sudden you saying you finna post pictures of his first birthday because you, she just used that baby to hurt Melody. And I know this is going to sound harsh when it comes out of my mouth, but don't nobody give a fuck about you or that baby. And that's just the harsh reality of it. You want to pull that baby out into the open whenever you want to hurt Melody, just to remind Melody that you have a baby with her ex-husband and you know that shit's probably still stained. But you ain't hurting nobody but yourself because Melody ain't got to deal with that baby. Okay? Melody ain't got to take care of it. She ain't got to handle the financial expenses like you do. And according, you know, and, and apparently you're going to be doing that by yourself because Martel ain't got shit. He went from doing real estate to posing half nude for pictures just to eat. If it wasn't for Melody, he probably wouldn't have made a dime in real estate. Because as we all know, he don't got no motherfucking license. He probably can't even get one because word on the corner is that he has a um, a criminal record for stealing ATMs back in the day. I don't know. This is just a word on the street. But you think you thought you won. You thought you won a motherfucking prize. And now that you seeing that you didn't. You know what I'm saying? You feel stupid. And now you mad at the world. Bitch, be mad at yourself. That's one thing her and uh, Mel Martel got in common. They are mad at everybody else but themselves, and they blame everybody else but themselves. And y'all, you want to know something? And she want to say that Melody is stressed, and she wants to say everybody else is thirsty. Um, They making money off of her. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you how thirsty this bitch is. Let me tell you how thirsty this bitch is. Um. She was taking pictures for her Instagram and somebody asked her, who does your makeup? And this person called L'Oreal Pride or something like that. She says, I do. And then when I click on this person's page, she's uh, Kimmy and Letitia is following her. So I'm thinking, OK, is this bitch getting her makeup done by somebody who does the makeup for the cast for Love and Mary Tunchville? What would be the reason, bitch? You want to be on a show that bad? You fantasizing about being on a show that bad? Um, to go and pretend that you want a show and get your makeup done by somebody who do the the makeup for the rest of the cast, bitch, you're sick. You're sick. And to get back on her hurting Melody with the with the baby, let me tell y'all what she said on the live last night. So somebody got in the comments and said, um, Carlos King was taking up for you on a reunion. He did you right. He took up for you. And then she was like, oh, okay, well, I might let my baby film then. First of all, bitch, don't nobody want you on the show. Don't nobody want your baby on the show. And what world do you fucking live in thinking that Melly is going to let either one of you on that motherfucking show that she executive produced? It's something wrong with that girl. It's something wrong with that girl. And I don't understand where her family is. Is anybody telling her how much of a dumb ass she's making herself to look? Does, is anybody telling her anything? 
it's disgusting. It's disgusting. And the nerve, and just to think that she's on here talking about how much she's grown. Bitch, I'm just so over it. Like, just to know that someone can be that fucking trifling. And Martell stays. Martell stays trying to make Melanie look like the bad guy. He keep implying that she was the one cheating. She keep, he keep implying, oh, I got receipts. Don't nobody give a fuck about your receipts. I don't give a fuck if Melly sucked on 25 dicks and choked on them all. That still does not compare to what you have done in the marriage. What she has done when y'all wasn't together ain't your motherfucking business. Ain't your business. But that's the thing. He's so worried about what Mel doing. He's so worried about if Mel sucks somebody off. When he was sitting there doing it for five years while they were married. I don't understand it. Make it make sense. And you know what? The Something else that I find kind of disturbing. Melody has said, a t- you know, times before that she wanted to move. I think she said she, yeah, she did say she wanted to move to Atlanta. Now, before Mel said anything about Atlanta, you know, I didn't hear nobody else saying nothing about Atlanta. But as soon as she mentioned she wants to move to Atlanta, oh, now Martell uh, starts mentioning Atlanta. He actually, oh, he did a live. I'm on my way down to Atlanta. What would be the reason? And then Arian did a live. I'm thinking about moving to uh, Atlanta. But the crime is so bad. So everybody, what the fuck they plan on doing? Making Mes- Melody miserable for the rest of, her, rest of her life? She's leaving. She wants to leave Huntsville and go to Atlanta to get the fuck away from them. And they trying to follow her down there. Those motherfuckers are the devil. They are the devil. And I just feel like she ain't going to be able to live peacefully until she get the fuck away from them. I wouldn't even let the motherfuckers know where I was going. You know, it's just sad that it's people, real life people out here like them. And so that pretty much was like the fucking reunion right there. They ended it off talking about Mel and uh, Melody and Martell. You know, um, there's more to come next week, of course, because there's going to be three parts to it. Um, the episode, the, the reunion ended with Carlos King asking him, would he have married Arian if he wasn't with Melody? And we all know the answer to yet to that. He would not have married Arian because Arian is not marriage material. She's somebody that you fuck on and then you go home. Period. And that's what the fuck he did. She has absolutely nothing going on for herself. She has... <sighs> I'm just so disgusted. You have no idea the level of disgust that I fucking feel. And for her to be mad at Melody as if Melody did something to her, it's insane. And when I think about those babies, you know, being in a broken home, and I'm speaking about Mel and Martell's kids because we all know that that shit bothered him. Just to think that he ruined his entire marriage for a bitch that feed her babies Doritos at one o'clock in the motherfucking morning. Every, and y'all, every laugh. And she always talking about how Melody talked about her and how every show Melody talking about her. Let me tell you something. Whenever Ariane goes live, it's because she's hoping somebody asks her about Melody because she wants to talk about Melody and she wants to talk about the show. Bitch, if Bravo was offering you a show, why the fuck is you still trying to get on own TV? And y'all, she had the nerve right before when Carlos King was um, promoting the reunion um, a couple of days ago, she had the nerve to get in on she had the nerve to DM Carlos King. She Carlos King was promoting a reunion and she got up under his comment and said, Carlos King, can you check your DMs? And then she said, I don't even want to be on your show. I just want y'all to stop talking about me and stop using my likeness because y'all won't let me film. You thirsty ass bitch. You still up here talking about filming. That was your life's goal. That's exactly why you messed around with Martell for as long as you did because you thought that you were about to be on this show and the closer it got to the reunion you thought you was about to get on this motherfucking reunion like I said a million times before in what world do you think that Melody is going to let your trifling ass film with her or be in the same fucking space as her period you're not even fucking worthy the fuck don't nobody even talk about you on the motherfucking show period so I don't know if you need medicine, I don't know what the fuck going on with you, but something ain't right. Your elevator don't go all the way to the fucking top. And we all a little touched, but bitch, you 
are a different kind of special touch, bitch. You are out of touch with reality. And you need help. And Martell need help. Maybe y'all can hold hands and go down to the therapist and get help together. Because y'all are some fucked up ass people. And the more I look at Martell, you know, the more I even hear him speak, I understand what drew him to you because y'all are the same crazy motherfuckers. And then you talking about you want to get on the show because people are making a false narrative of you talking about you crazy and obsessed. Bitch, ain't nobody said you was obsessed. We said that you were motherfucking slow. And we said that you are a scumbag for doing what you did to Melody when you were the one that was in the motherfucking wrong. And yeah, I would say that you are a little bit obsessed too, bitch, because every live that you make, you are hoping that somebody asks you about Melody so you can talk about the lady that you hate. You hate her because you're not her. You will never be her. Martel will never marry you. You wasted your time trying to come up off of a married man. And now you salty. And now you salty. Deal with it, bitch. You are complete and utter trash and you need help. And it's not, like I said... It's not that you can't be better. You don't want to be better. You're fine with who you are. You think that you've done absolutely no wrong. You and Martell make excuses for the fucked up shit that y'all have done. Bitch, and let me tell you something. Whew. The fact that you, I can't even get over that. Can you imagine somebody calling your husband's phone and saying, I didn't call to talk to you. I called your husband's phone. Put him on the phone. Put him on the phone, bitch. Had you said that shit to the wrong person, they would have put your next to Ken on the phone because somebody was going to have to drive you home from the hospital. These whores know who to pull that shit with. I tell you, I'm really sorry that Melly didn't have sisters to beat the fuck out of that whore. I'm so sad. I'm so sorry. You know, the nerve, the nerve, the nerve. I don't even have nothing else to say about the reunion. Y'all, it was a series of events, just shenanigans all week. And I'm going to post them, you know, and I didn't want to post them to this video because I didn't want them, you know, taking my video down because these are videos that I found online. I'm hoping that it's okay for me to post them, but I'm going to post them in in a little bit. And I just want y'all to see the shenanigans of it all, all the way from Martell going to random bitches houses in Atlanta to cook for them. And it's like, dude, you in real estate. Now you're a motherfucking chef. You making a career out of going to random bitches home and pretending to cook them a meal. And these bitches, they can learn how to cook on a food network. But they sitting here letting Martell in their home. Just the thirstiness of it all. It's just a lot of shit that went down this week that really irritated the fuck out of me. And I'm going to share with you guys. Get this shit out of my my system because I don't want to walk around with it. But this shit right here is a lot. This ain't even my fight. It's not my relationship. But it just disgusts me and it irritates me and it pisses me off that there are bitches like Ariane out there who don't give a fuck. Who just trifling. They have nothing to lose. They don't give a fuck who they, who, who they hurt. They don't give a fuck about nobody but themselves. They think the shit cute. They think the shit funny. And Martell, I I can barely stand to look at him. And like I said, it don't matter how handsome you are. It don't matter how attractive you think you are. If you fucked up on the inside, none of that motherfucking matters. And that's all I got to say about the fucking reunion. Um, It really pissed me off. And I will be back in a little bit to share with you the lives that I ran into um, earlier in the week. Y'all, I'll chat with you later.